All right, welcome back to another video. Before we get into the uh, the workout segment of this, I wanted to share with you guys this little grocery grocery haul I got today. Figured I'd give you guys a little insight on what I eat throughout the week. So yeah, let's get started. So first, the most important part is where's the rest? Is the beef all right? So, first little information on kind of my diet is I try to eat a animal based diet because I think that it's the most healthy. But I guess what I'm trying to say is, I mean, a animal based diet is basically just a whole foods diet. So that's what I try to eat throughout the week. I eat beef. I eat beef, fish. I eat chicken. I eat fruit, and I eat dairy, and that's 95% of everything I eat throughout the week. The other 5% is I'll eat some bread, and I'll eat some, sometimes every once in a while I'll eat some junk food, I'll eat like pizza or burgers or tacos or whatever, burritos, you know, because you gotta, you gotta enjoy yourself, man, there's good food out in the world, you gotta explore and, you know, have fun with it, so don't just only eat, you know, your diet, you know, have fun with yourself, you know. Eat other foods. Foods you like. Anyways, but I do like these foods. Anyways. Um, so, what I got is I got grass-fed bison. Let's see if we'll focus. Ancestral blend. So this is ground bison, bison liver, and bison heart all ground together. Um, it's kind of weird, but uh, I, eat, I try to eat a lot of uh, organ meats because I think they're super healthy. They're like the highest... Um, the most nutrient dense foods you can eat is liver and heart foods like that um, and then I got three packages of just regular ground bison right there and usually every day I'll eat like sometimes I'll eat a whole package of this but usually I'll have half a package with dinner uh, anyways that's it for the meat next I got your basic eggs can't eat enough eggs, all right, guys. Eat eggs. I don't tell. I don't care what anybody tells you. Eggs are good for you. Eat eggs, okay? They're not gonna raise your cholesterol. If you're a healthy human being who exercises, takes care of themselves, you can eat as many eggs as you want. All right. There's protein, omega-3 fatty acids. You need eggs. Eat eggs, all right. Preferably the pasture-raised eggs, and even more preferably pasture-raised and or organic. But I just got pasture-raised because. They're the cheapest, and what that basically means is that ha each hen has 108 square feet of outdoor space, so they're not all crowded together. If you ever see, like, drive by, like, a chicken farm, like your basic chicken farm, all these chickens are, like, shoulder to shoulder, and it's just the most disgusting. They're all covered in shit and, like, piss. It's disgusting. You don't want to be eating eggs from that. I mean, if you have to, it's, you know, better than nothing, but you don't necessarily want to be eating eggs like that. Um, next, oh, ooh, one of my favorite things ever. I don't necessarily like the taste of it, but it's not bad. It's just, it tastes like liquid cheese, but it's extremely good for you. I think one of the most important things besides eating whole foods is keeping your, your gut, your gut biome very healthy. All right. And that is through kefir for me. I'll go through about a, one bottle of kef, kefir, kefir, Jesus, for a week. I'll do like, uh. I don't know, I'll do like half a cup every morning with breakfast just to keep my stomach healthy. Because a healthy stomach, healthy brain, healthy body. Alright guys, you should seriously look into your gut microbiome, super important. Bodybuilding, just overall having a healthy body and mind. Um, yeah, so I got kefir and I got blueberries. Focus, focus. Organic blueberries because you don't want to be eating pesticides. Get organic. I got oh, this avocado got fucking broken. Damn it! Oh, that's so sad. Anyways, I broke this avocado. Anyways, avocados. I try to eat avocados every single day. They're super high in potassium. When people think about potassium, they think about bananas, but no, avocados are way higher in potassium. And have lots of healthy fats, fiber. Super good for you, and it tastes delicious. 
However, if you're not avocado guy, I understand. And not last, but second to last here for my little treats, which is not even really a treat if you think about it. This right here. Come on, focus. It's called ice cream for bears. Basically, yeah, I don't eat a lot of sugar and stuff, but this isn't necessarily sugar. The ingredients are milk, cream, raw honey, egg yolk, cocoa, and butter. So it's completely sweetened with, with um, raw honey, which is perfect, you know, because processed sugar is terrible for your stomach and your skin, everything like that. It's not good for you. Don't eat processed sugar. However, everything in moderation. Um, anyways, if you're going to eat ice cream, try this out. They sell out Sprouts. It's really, really good. They have vanilla, peanut butter, and chocolate. And then, last thing I got is sourdough bread. Homemade sourdough bread from my local grocery store. Um, I don't eat a lot of bread, but a few times a week I'll eat slices of um, sourdough bread. If you're going to eat bread, make sure it's not that highly processed bullshit bread. Like, it'll say healthy whole wheat bread, and when you look in the ingredients, it's covered in, like, added sugar, it's got soybean oil, it's got canola oil, all these heavily processed stuff, and you do not want to be putting that on your body. But, like I said before, moderation, you know, is key, so every once in a while, it's not going to kill you or anything, but if you're going to be eating bread all the time, get some real bread, some real sourdough bread that's fermented, it's easy, easy easily digestible. So, Yeah. Um, and then later tonight, I'll show you guys my, an average dinner throughout the week with my, uh, my ground beef here. And, uh, anyways, hope you guys like the video. Peace.